first week of the tour. Yes, it is. How's it going so far? Pretty good. I haven't been on tour for quite a long time. Nothing says I'm on tour like being on a tour bus. There's a particular smell, particularly a weird sensation in the, the bunks of all the many musicians who were also laying in those bunks. It's, it's, the one, on, one hand, on one level, it's immediately really, really familiar. On another level, I feel like I've kind of never done it before. And the shows feel like that too, because I'm in my usual perverse fashion. I set the tour up so that I don't really know what's going to happen. And I'm playing with musicians who I don't know. And who we don't, we only met two days before the tour, and we're, we're putting the show together as we go. And it's very, it's designed to be very active, like as in for me to have to be very, very much engaged and involved with it to make it happen. And so I feel like, I, somewhere it's like I've never done any shows in my life before. At the same time, I'm obviously a haggard old pro, so it's an interesting sensation. I heard that you nearly left the music business. Yes. And I was wondering uh, how you're feeling about your decision to give it another go. It's quite good to retire. I'd recommend it. If anyone's been doing anything for any length of time, I would recommend retiring for a while. It's good. It gives you a good perspective on what you've done and what you might want to do. Um, I'm, I wouldn't be here doing this and, and having put out a new record if, if it hadn't been prompted and motivated by the most kind of pu the purest of, of, of motivation, which was the, the songs. Because it's like funded and driven by this kind of really good energy, I, I feel sort of um, insulated against the, the unpleasant aspects of it. Because it, it feels it's fine, you know. Because I, I want to talk about it. I, I actually really want to sing the songs. I want to. I want people to hear it because I really, I really sort of love it. You know, it sort of feels surprisingly like my first ever record and my first ever tour. And that kind of return to a sort of pre professional state is probably what the only way I could have come back. It goes to show you never really know it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. What I, what I really like about the way this record came out was that it is, it is kind of very quiet, very gently quite eccentric. And there's lots of things about the way it's put together that are not regular, but it sort of wears its strangeness so very lightly that I don't think it really, you really notice. You know? But I think that as time goes on, people who have the record and spend a bit of time with it will enjoy finding out and going, hang on a second, I mean, it's a bit strange, there's no snare drum on this record or, you know, or whatever the things are that they are. And so that's what I really like that as a, as a sort of, feels like an achievement creatively to have made something which has a, has a little sonic world all of its own. It sort of feels like it doesn't really have anything to do with anyone, anyone's music apart from my own, which is nice to feel and I, I sort of feel like that maybe like I've arrived at that place as a, as a writer or a producer or something, of having my own little world, and, I'm, and it's a very pleasing little world to be in. What I found to be interesting was that you had not one, but three female artists. Well, that was a really, really nice development in this record. I had, to, had that idea as a concept because so many of the songs were, they were just two characters, and they were often sort of head to head. And it was kind of conversational and very candid, and and it, and it would it, it it felt like that there should be two people in the in the song in the scene sort of thing. So that was part of it, and and, and having had having experimented with that idea on another round of having a different vocalist come in and sing part of a song, and how dramatic that was, and how interesting, how, how that shift of the of the of the protagonist sort of thing. Um, cast a really different light on, the, on my part of the song 
and on the words and everything. Um, that was, I really thought that was really rich and I wanted to do more of that. I had to cast Kelly Sweet for Sundowning because it needed to be this like um, flat, dispassionate, depressed sounding lady, you know? C cool and removed. That was the, that's the right character for that job. And then like for, for a new friend it had to be this kind of uh, bounding kind of outrageous gospel singer and so there had to be Leanne because that's what she does and she's fantastic. And then for Remember Us it had to be, it had to be a friend of mine sort of thing. You know? It needed someone who really needed to know something about me to, to, to understand why, how to sing that song. Um, to bring the right level of sort of sad tenderness to it and Sarah us being friends and her having I think a real insight into what what my music means to me and and she did she found this lovely kind of frail because she's a, such a big singer you know, but she found this great slightly broken frail voice that was just so so good I was sort of saying, joking, it's, it's not my Updike album sort of thing, you know, because it is all, it's all these kind of relationship songs and they're all, then there's no, there's hardly anything about new love, it's all about the third stage and fourth stage of a relationship when, when, when things start to sag or, or things have started to break apart or it seemed, or it seemed like it was, no, it was all going to go to hell and then it didn't, you know, and all that stuff. What's next for you? Just see the album out safely into the world, you know. Um, and then I'll be back home to my new home in California and carry on with my, you know, taking the kids to school and um, writing songs for the people and producing records for the people, which is my new sort of hobby. And we'll just see, you know, but what the most significant thing for me that's happened, and it's quite wonderful really, is that I've gone from being confident I didn't want to do this anymore to being confident that this is going to be my last record to now being confident that I, I want to find a way to carry on making music and, and doing my thing because it turns out I, I still really love it. <laughs>